Welcome back to another YouTube video looking at breathwork. I'm Jacko. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the benefits of nasal breathing and seeing how using our nose to breathe can change the way we breathe, change the way we move and change the way we feel and perform. So this video is going to very much look at the, the main benefits there are to using the nose over using the mouth for breathing and hopefully convince you to start using the nose more for your day-to-day -day breathing habits as well as then using those good breathing habits, good breathing mechanics to utilize the power and benefits of using the nasal breath or using the nose to breathe when you are exercising and performing as well. Now there is so much to the nose and how it's designed and when you look at the difference between uh, how it is designed compared to the functions uh, that the mouth has, it is undoubtedly clear that the nose has the function and design to breathe. I believe it has been designed to breathe in God. And, but whether you do believe in that or not, you certainly, when you see and listen to the benefits of the nose, the function that it provides, it's very clear that it is the nose that is the primary way we should be breathing and getting air in and out of the body. There is so much that the nose can do and so many benefits from it. Um, this is not probably going to cover absolutely everything, but I'm going to give you the top things that I see as the reasons why we should be using the nose uh, for our breathing and what is highlighted uh, in the Oxygen Advances, that's the framework that I work from as a certified uh, advanced ox oxygen instructor to help people uh, use their nose to breathe better uh, and, and to be healthier and to live better healthier lives as well as with their performance if, it, if it's in their training or if they're in their sport. Let's then look at some of these benefits of nasal breathing and to start with I just want to compare it to whether we breathe through the mouth. Mouth breathing is linked to upper chest breathing, shallower breathing, that is linked to a stress response. So our fight or flight stress response, that sympathetic tone is linked to breathing from the mouth and using the, and the shallower upper chest breathing. That creates an awful lot of tension around the upper chest, shoulders and neck. Uh, whereas when we breathe from the nose, we start to utilize the diaphragm more as our primary breathing muscle, which is a deeper, lower breath rather than the upper chest breathing. It's also less stressful in terms of that sympathetic tone that um, is related to mouth and upper chest breathing. That diaphragmatic breathing that the nose uh, helps to facilitate, there is a direct link or a link between breathing through your nose and being able to stimulate and activate and use your diaphragm more effectively. So that's one major huge difference. Breathing with the diaphragm, the diaphragm is a muscle and it's our primary breathing muscle. We should be using it as the number one thing that is helping facilitate that good breath. We also get then to think about using our lower ribs more. When we're breathing from the mouth, it's more upper chest dominant. Whereas when we start to breathe with the diaphragm, we're encouraging those lower ribs to move out and articulate. And that's going to help facilitate the better uh, position for, of the ribs to be able to allow that diaphragm to work effectively. Using the diaphragm then helps to create more uh, spinal stability through intra-abdominal pressure. And those rib cage movements and rib mechanics help to facilitate better position of the rib cage, which is going to help your spinal posture, going to help with your shoulder posture, because remember those scapulas, those shoulder blades sit and ride on the back of that rib cage. So it's going to help to improve your shoulder movement as well. The diaphragm is also linked into our hip flexors. When we have better movement and proper movement of the diaphragm, the chance to allow the diaphragm to relax after an exhale because we have good functional breathing patterns using the nose rather than using the mouth, where when we're using the mouth, remember it's that upper chest breathing, we're not utilizing the diaphragm effectively, we're leaving residual tension in the diaphragm. The diaphragm has a direct link with psoas major, so into our hip flexors, and we're gonna have residual tension and dysfunction around the hip potentially from poor breathing habits. So it's important that we get these breathing mechanics right and that the very heart of uh, functional breathing patterns is that nasal breath. So breathing, the breath coming in and out through the nose. So that's one of the major first things that the nasal breathing allows us and facilitates better diaphragmatic breathing habits. The other thing then is the size of the, the nose uh, or the holes in the nose that's gonna allow the air in. Rather than it being smaller than the mouth, the mouth is quite a big space. That means we get a slower breath and also utilizing the slow breath with the diaphragmatic breath helps to pull air in lower into the, into the lower portions of the lungs. So we get a better, fuller breath when we are breathing slower using the diaphragm through the nose and the nose helps to facilitate that. That is the opposite of that stress response that we get from that upper chest breathing. I mentioned that sort of fight or flight sympathetic tone that that is, um, that is related to. The slower, deeper breath from the nose is more linked to our, the opposite of our fight or flight, our rest, digest, our relaxation mode, our parasympathetic. So it can help 
us to relax, which is great for recovery. It's great to prepare us before eating food. Uh, it's great for preparing us for a great night's sleep. So utilizing slower, deeper breathing using the nose is, uh, is great for um, that, that, that control of the autonomic nervous system, getting us out of that fight or flight stress response. It's also great for improving heart rate variability and is also stimulating the vagus nerve so it gets improved vagal tone, which is also extremely important for our overall health. The third thing that all of that nasal breathing helps to provide, and this is really gonna help improve our performance, is better utilage and efficiency of transferring oxygen from the bloodstream into the working cells. That slower breath, that improved tolerance to CO2, carbon dioxide, helps us with transfer of oxygen from the, work, uh, from the bloodstream into the working cells. I've talked about this on another video already that can go into a little bit more detail, but utilizing the nose for that slower breathing, improving our CO2 tolerance as we slow our breathing rate down, allows us to cope with higher levels of CO2 in the bloodstream, which allows better transfer of um, oxygen from the red blood cells, hemoglobin releasing its affinity to oxygen because of uh, the presence of, of CO2 in the blood, dropping the pH slightly, allowing that um, oxygen to go into the bloodstream more efficiently. So you start to feel less out of breath, less breathlessness when you're exercising, as well as hopefully less uh, less less breathlessness and less desire to breathe as your bolt score improves over over time, meaning that you're able to perform that nasal breathing at rest and transfer that into um, any of the exercising that you're going to do as well. If you haven't um, come across the bolt score, look at the bolt score yet, uh, there'll be a link in the description for that as well. Uh, I've already done a, a video for explaining that completely in full, so make sure you do check that one out. Finally then, a lot of you might be saying, okay, Jacko, that's great, I'm, I'm on board with this nasal breathing, there's so many benefits there, I want to take those on board. But when I've tried breathing through my nose and it's just, it's just completely blocked and I, I literally don't feel like I can do it. So one of the things is, it's a use it or lose it scenario. So if you don't use it, the ability to breathe through it is gonna be lost. But as you start to use it more, it starts to become easier and like anything, we get adaptations. It can take sort of up to six weeks to start to clear the nose up uh, by using it more regularly. So anytime you're breathing in your day-to-day -day, uh, stationary uh, or low-level activity habits, we want to be trying to breathe in and out of the nose. The final thing I wanted to mention is there's nitric oxide in the back of the nasal cavity. That uh, is a vasodilator. Nitric oxide helps open up those upper airways. It helps clear the nose, but it also helps open up the airways as we're going in towards the lungs and distribute blood more evenly within the lungs so we get better transfer again of oxygen um, from the lungs into the bloodstream and then it's got its chance to go from the bloodstream into the cells like I just mentioned. So breathing through the nose is going to utilize that nitric oxide. There's a very simple um, nose unblocking drill. I've done a video for this already where we do a breath hold and we, we do some head nods and then we breathe in through the nose that allows us to utilize that nitric oxide to help open up the airways. So if you haven't looked at that video yet, I'll put the link to that one as well. I'll try and put a thing in it so that you can click on it somewhere. Um, and also put that in the description below. That's a really great one to use anytime you need to unblock your nose and uh, great before you're gonna do any nasal uh, work. So whether you go out for a walk and you're gonna try and stay nasal breathing or maybe you're build, building up trying to get to a jog and nasal breathing, doing that nose unblocking drill beforehand helps to clear it up. But then just know that the more you use your nose, the more you're utilizing that and the more you're gonna generate those adaptations to allow the nose to stay clearer for longer and make, make it easier for you to use. Once, when you're doing that during the day, the final thing I do want to say is that when you're doing that and changing those habits during the day and using the nose more and it starts to become clearer, your habit that you generate during the day whilst you're awake and conscious is going to influence how you breathe when you sleep. So improving how you breathe whilst you're awake during the day, making sure you're using the nose, it's, it's able to be uh, from the diaphragm and it's starting to clear up, you will then find it much easier to breathe at night through your nose. It will be more natural for you to do that and you will get a better, more restorative night's sleep. As I mentioned, Breathing through the mouth is linked to our sympathetic stress response. So if you're asleep all night and you wake up with a dry mouth in your mouth, been open all night, you've been breathing through your mouth, you've been having some low level of stress throughout that whole sleep. We want our sleep to be restorative. We want to wake up feeling refreshed uh, and ready for the next day. And you, in, ensuring that you are breathing through your nose is essential to make sure that happens. I'm going to do a video um, that is going to talk about how we can use uh, the breathe light strips to help open that up a little bit when you sleep and taping the mouth so the mouth stays closed. You shut your mouth while you're sleeping. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Um, but it's joking aside, it is really important and you're going to get a better, more restorative uh, night's sleep, which we know is so important for our overall health as well as recovery and performance and everything else that goes into that.
So I hope that's given you a good insight into some of the main benefits there are to using the nose nasal breathing instead of mouth breathing. Start to think about how you're breathing. The step one is just having awareness of your breathing habits during the day. Just notice how you're breathing and notice how you feel. Notice the difference of when you, when you stop and check, you check in, you breathe your awareness. Okay, I'm gonna change my breathing to my nose. I'm gonna try and make, my, make sure my diaphragm uh, is working in that. And just notice how that feels. You should, do we feel more relaxed? Can we slow our breathing down a little bit? Or do I feel out of breath and wanna breathe out through the mouth all the time? And do I need to change those habits? When you're going out for a walk, try to do it nasal breathing. If, if you are jogging, like, see if you can. It might start as a bit of a snot fest, but over time it's gonna improve. Um, and I'm gonna bring, there's gonna be more and more videos coming from me to give you the tips and tools of how to um, manage, uh, manage uh, that transition into using your nose more and get all of those amazing benefits. Um, I am doing some, some small classes online via Zoom. Um, if you're interested in them, the details for my email address um, is below. The current groups are completely full, but there's gonna be more coming uh, in, in the following months as we move in. And I'm going to try and help facilitate more of those groups moving forward. So my email address is davidjacksonfitness at gmail.com. It's in the description below. So hit me up with an email if you're interested in that. And then uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit subscribe. Uh, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, there'll be some interesting ones right from the beginning that will be good to check out, like the bolt score, like breath holding. Um, and uh, if you if you find this video helpful and you think actually uh, you want to send, you know, there's someone else that you know or you love or you train with or whatever, you think, yes, they're a mouth breather and they need to hear this and they need to start thinking like this, tag them or send them into it, put them in the comments or just copy and paste this and send it to them. Uh, and I appreciate your support and, and spreading the, uh, the, the love and the, the information and the importance of breathing through our nose, nasal breathing for better health and performance. So I've been Jacko, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.